I probably would put the biggest risk in three buckets. You know, the first risk is uh, I do nothing and somebody leapfrogs me. That's a big problem, and we've seen a few examples that have been pretty dramatic. Um, the second risk is I do something and it doesn't work. I uh, overestimated the capabilities of my internal uh, engineer and IT departments. Um, I've invested a lot of money and it you know, didn't really produce a successful byproduct. It didn't scale, it didn't perform, it didn't work. Um, and then the third risk is sort of the risk of unintended consequences. You know, I built something, I began to collect data, that data got hacked and compromised, and, you know, we've all seen the examples of when credit card numbers get stolen and so forth, you know. The, uh, the company who gets blamed actually was a victim, but the customers say, I'm still going to blame you because if you're going to take that type of information from me, then you have a duty to protect it, and you failed in that duty. The mitigation for... Um, not doing anything and being leapfrogged is that you need to move forward with a strategy and a technology investigation and a prototype and and really begin to first investigate and then plan what are you going to do and I'd say if you're not already doing that you're already vulnerable because a lot of companies are deep into that process for sure um, on the risk of uh, doing something and it doesn't work what I would say is just you know it's like any other big new product project you're trying to do you have to make sure that you actually have the capabilities to do this and that you understand how you'll create value by doing it. And then on the uh, third item of the unintended consequences, particularly around security and availability and things like that, you know, I think you need to find some good outside partners because to be frank, most manufacturing companies are not really in a position internally to solve these problems. Mm -hmm.